If you are having a challenge with defining a replacement picture, try asking yourself, what would it look like if I didn't have this problem? What would the situation look like if it was fixed? Let's say you're scheduled to stand up in front of a meeting full of people and give a speech. At the mere thought of this, your hands are shaking, you're perspiring, and you're about to hyperventilate. And if you don't find a chair quickly, you may just fall down because your knees are about to give out. Time out. Stop right there. What are you thinking about? I'm panicked about standing up and talking in front of other people. Okay. What would it look like if you didn't have this problem? I would be calm, relaxed, and confident about what I have to say. Now, take out the words would be and replace it with am. I am calm, relaxed, and confident about what I have to say. And what picture does this create of you? Hands steady, breathing normal, maybe even a smile on your face as you say good morning to start your presentation. You see faces smiling back at you as the group begins to hang on your every word. This replacement picture has allowed you to control your self-talk, calm the chaos threatening to overwhelm you and ramp up your fears, and to present yourself to the world with confidence. And the best part? You are in charge of the situation. It's your picture and your choice to adopt this new picture. In other words, you are in control. Creating the replacement picture is vital to any desired change. Years ago, our founder, Lou Tice, was speaking to an auditorium of folks in Derry, Northern Ireland. Peace accords had been signed, and everyone seemed more relaxed because they no longer had to live in fear of the next bombing or piece of mayhem. They could walk the streets at night and celebrate holidays again. Lou's speech was being well received until he asked them, what kind of dairy do you want? There was stunned silence. They hadn't thought about what would come next. They had achieved their goal of peace, but had no idea what to do next. Lou went on to explain that if they didn't take the opportunity to design what they wanted for the future, someone else would. And it may not be the dairy that most everyone wanted. Without a new picture, things would go back to the normal they were used to. So, a group of people committed to designing a new future for dairy that included economic expansion, travel and industry, as well as integrated schools for Protestant and Catholic kids to learn together. It's a different dairy today than it was during the Troubles. So what do you want your future to look like? What obstacles do you see today that can be turned into opportunities? What will it look like when it's fixed?